First off, as always, start off by thanking the people who helped get me started in 3D printing. Some awesome YouTubers there. So we're looking at Wapelius Spellbrush from the Artisans Guild. And this is my print of him at 36 millimeters tall. And it came out pretty nice. Just wanted to show you what I did with the supports here. On this small version, you can see I have a, a mix of my mostly super lights, but I have some heavies and some mediums in there. I, I just didn't want this to fail. Uh, and I also experimented here. You see, I dropped a couple really, really ultra lights that actually do touch down on the model, which normally you guys know I absolutely hate that. But every now and then, since I'm making videos now, I experiment with stuff like that to see if it's, you know, if I can get some results that make sense that I want to share with people. And, and I didn't like it on the way, by the way, on this model. It did leave some, even though those are ultra, ultra lights, you know, from my support settings, still does a tiny little bit of damage. And, you know, I, it's better to drop them off the model and angle them in like you see in some other spots. So that, that's failed experiment. Anyway, you, I've shown you the underneath there because I didn't hollow this model. It's 36 millimeters. It's pretty thin. Hollowing it to me didn't make sense. Now we're on to the big boy. So this version, look, he takes up the whole print bed side to side. And he's, you know, almost takes up the whole Z-axis as well. So, it, you know, it's, it's huge, this model. I've never done anything this size. I think the, the, this came out to 130 or 140 millimeters tall at the top of the staff. I've never done anything bigger, I don't think, really, than I think maybe uh, 75 or 80 millimeters. So this was, this was huge, especially not one big solid figure like this. So, you see, I really want to keep the face clean. Uh, which I did in the other one anyway, but you know, just made sure I angled a little bit so there was no uh, islands on the face. Didn't have to go back too far to do that. Actually, it's sculpted. This one was sculpted with with printing in mind by Andrea from Artisan Skill. He did a really nice job on it. So you can see I have a lot of my super lights, and they're all with really really long extensions to reach those hard to reach places where I didn't want to drop in like I did on the other one, uh, the smaller version into the model. So you see, going up to the top of the staff. I have some impossibly long looking extensions that really look like they're going to fail. Uh, I think most people would look at this and say, you know, a lot of the stuff on here, you know, this might not work. It looks pretty crazy. It's like a spider web back there. And all those supports are really, really light. So you see going up and down the sword, I did all ultra light. So I want to support the whole sword, but make sure when I rip it off, there's no damage. And you can see here, I hollowed the model and I, and I actually put three holes at the bottom to make sure I had plenty of air coming through. Uh, that there wouldn't be any suction issues and also I want to be able to clean the model really nicely this model I'm printing at this huge side not just for a test But it's actually going to the artist. This was sculpted after this was sculpted after James Wapple who's a, in in the mini painting world is a fairly famous artist and I since I'm sending this to him for him to paint I wanted to uh, make sure that I make this model as perfect as I can. Now, honestly, I was a little nervous about this because I was, having never printed something this big, I was wondering how are my kind of wacky support settings going to hold up on a model that takes up basically the whole build plate. You know, so I honestly, I was a little worried. Uh, but, you know, I think my support system is sound, but it might only be sound as possible. It's only sound on smaller models, not on big models. So in, in a way, this was, I was nervous, but it was also a good experiment for me to see Will my kind of wacky support settings work on something this size? Uh, so you see how I've supported it. You see all my crazy little supports everywhere. Now let's see how it came out. So you see he's covered with resin, so you can't see the detail. But you can see all my crazy type supports, my ultra lights. They all seem to have uh, taken hold here. I don't really see any failures. One of them has a tiny little curve to it. But it looks like they all did their jobs, which is really important. So why don't we go and check out the final product now? So here you see it from the front. It's looking great. Lots of detail, all very clear. Uh, no real visible damage from the support marks. And I didn't clean this one up, by the way, because it's going to a painter who's you know a million times better probably at cleanup than I am. I didn't want to mess it up trying to clean it up, right? So I actually left support nubs and stuff like that. I just kind of got them off as best I could, but I didn't do my normal scraping or preparing it because like I said, it's going to someone who's way better at that stuff than I am probably. So no, no need for me to do it. So the model's even a little better than it looks in these pictures here. So anyway, I, you know, this was validation again for my support techniques because, it, and I'll admit, I was a little bit surprised how well it worked on a model this size. I was actually expecting 
some failures. I just figured since my supports are so super thin that the suction created on a larger model, especially the cross section where, say, a good big portion of the cape was printing, plus the legs, plus the weight, you know, plus the sword, plus the imp. I thought when that section got there, it might mess with my light supports and, and rip some of them off because there's so much being printed at once and so much suction being created. Uh, but it didn't happen, so I was really, really happy with how this, this turned out. And the back looks, you know, pristine, very clean. Uh, and again, I said, this is without cleanup, so I'm sure once the artist gets it, cleans up a little bit and paint it, this is truly going to be an amazing piece of art. So anyway, uh, the question, will it print? Yes, it will. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, please subscribe, and please stay tuned for more videos. Thanks a lot, everyone.